guys doing so yeah man um so today on this video here what i'll be doing is i'll be showing you guys how to make a a track like juke soul so yeah um for those of you that don't know juke soul is um i don't know i'll say soulful soulful house producer from south africa you know um super talented guy um so i'll just quickly speak about his, his style of house music you know my personal opinion on it what i think what i think is happening what it is he's trying to do and then i'll show you how to go about doing it um so personally i believe what he's trying to do is he's trying to he's trying to take like the whole concepts of the whole idea of jazz 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 actual genre jazz he's trying to take jazz and basically everything that has to do with jazz and convert it to house music that's how that's what i feel that's what that's how i personally feel when i listen to his tracks today i feel like i'm listening to it's like i'm listening to a jazz album but not just not more it's like it's house music it's like a house album but it's made up of jazz instruments so it's like it's almost like listening to a jazz band so to put it um but playing house music kind of thing you know um so that's what i feel like with these tracks you know um but then obviously everybody has their own opinion on what they think you know that's my personal opinion you might have your own as well um what else and his style is very simple, you know, his style is very simple, as you understand, as you might understand, jazz is not a complex genre, you know, jazz is like, jazz is like, it might have, it might have a few instruments here and there, and then a couple of chords, and then after that, usually it's just the saxophone that, that will be changing the whole time, you know, and that's what Juke Soul does as well, like, he has constant chords or whatever, and then the melody will be changing the whole time, or something might be changing every time, but, excuse me, but like, overall the track structure will probably be like the same throughout the track you know and a few small changes here and there you know so if you understand and you've listened to jazz a lot you understand jazz a lot like you understand you you'll be able to understand what it, what it is that Jukso is trying to do here but once again as i repeat like it's my own opinion i might be wrong maybe Jukso is just doing his own totally different thing but that's what i feel like he's trying to do you know um so let, let's not waste any more time let's just get straight to his style um so obviously what i've listened when i've listened to his tracks i feel like at least when i listen to them i feel like it's a it feels more like a live performance you know the sound selection and the sounds he uses feel more like live instruments than than anything you know it feels like even the kick is more like a kick it's, it's more like a, a drum kick kind of thing rather than a typical hardcore house kick that most people use you know so um so i don't have those kind of sounds there but uh, hypersonic the plugin actually has those sounds so this plugin here actually has those sounds here um so you want to go to so you want to have hypersonic to do this you want to go to natural drums you don't want to choose any of these kits here you know obviously i chose jazz drums so you want to choose any of these kits here and then they have the sounds you need so i'll just quickly go for the sounds that i use for you guys uh, okay cool so it's these type of sounds here like this one here I'm sure you can feel you you can already hear like it feels like live instruments you know like somebody's actually playing a drum and you can hear the kick the kick is like it's a, it's a drum kick it's like it's just the in the background you can hardly hear it but you can hear it still um what else i've got that hat there um i've got this sound here all of these sound they sound better when they were once they together and stuff like that you know um so for now it might sound like what the hell that doesn't sound like juke sort type of sounds but when 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 all combined the stuff they do sound like that uh and then you need like keys obviously so you might need some chords and stuff like that so these are the chords i used so if you're interested and you probably want to steal them then psh, yeah go ahead you can you know um cool so what else and then that's about it and then after that you just want to like go impromptu and stuff like that so you, you probably like plays a, a, a particular instrument and you know just like plays around on it might be a saxophone might whatever instrument you might be using so in in this case i'll be using a xylophone so that's what i'll be using you know um that's the instrument that's going to change throughout the track that's the only thing that's going to change the rest will stay the same uh for the sake of this beat here i must say that i actually i use the i use the broken kick so it's a broken beat, um, broken beat type of track for this one here. But I've never heard, I've never heard like a, a broken beat track from Juke Soul. You know, so I'm not saying that every track by his is broken beat. Just this particular one is broken beat in my particular case. 
so i don't want to waste more time I've already charged like five minutes so let's get straight to work then let's play the track and i'll just i'll probably go impromptu somewhere around here and just start playing around you know so it sounds like this So let's go. So like that that type of stuff there, you know, I don't want to waste more time with like playing around and stuff. But that's what that's the, like a, a type of like a, a jigsaw track. That's that's what you expect to hear most of the time. You no, know, that type of thing there. So it might stay constant. It might have a small few changes here and there, and all that stuff there. But then you, you have that instrument that's always varying. You know, that's always changing and just like he's playing around with it. Um, for me, obviously, it's just random keys. For him, it might be impromptu, or it might be that he actually wrote it down. He literally sat down, composed, and wrote down the track, and then he played it out. You know, um, I understand that he actually studied music, so it makes sense that he probably wrote it and composed the whole thing and wrote it down. You know, um, what else? And then obviously, I know most of you are expecting to see the drum that he does. You know, that jigsaw drum. There's that drum that he always has. I couldn't. I wasn't able to do that. That's why I use this thing here, um, these wind chimes here, so they sound like this. So that's why I use them, but like I wasn't able to do those drums there. But overall, this this is like the jigsaw type of track, you know, this is what you need. It's really not that complex. Uh, so yeah, so I don't know if I should go over the sounds one more time. I, I, I'm, not, I'm actually not going to do that. Just get, just get hypersonic, open up natural drums, choose any of these packs here, and then you get these type of sounds here. Once you have those sounds there, I think you you're good to go, and then you can have, then you, you you can have your own chords and stuff like that, and just do your own chords and all that and all that, and all that jazz there. Um, what else? I think that's about it. That's about it. Like I haven't had um I haven't had um any strings, even if it does have strings, it's probably not that much. Pads. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I don't know all this material, no. But I haven't had, I haven't heard any of those make those things there like pads, pads, strings and all that stuff there. I haven't had much of it in this material, you know, so I can't say that you might want to have them as well. But if it makes if you wanna do this type of style and, you know, add your own touch to it, then you can add those few things just to, you know, twist it around and stuff like that. Otherwise yeah man, you know, that's it for me. Like, subscribe, comment, Facebook, Twitter, SoundCloud, follow, all that just there. Shop shop buffets.